The end of a rampage. This was the moment police tasered and arrested a 36-year-old man after reports of people being stabbed in a residential area. The suspect had been seen here pacing and crouching outside people's homes, gripping in his hand a more than foot-long samurai-style sword. There was a massive response from the police. There was loads of them. It must have been a, like, at least a dozen of them. <clears throat> and they've, um, they've all ran up to where he was in the uh, driveway, just shouting and sort of screaming at him to put the sword there. He, he had like a big samurai sword. Um, um, and then... <clears throat> And then they were screaming at him, and then um, he was just shouting back. And then they then they tased him, um, and then just about seven or eight of them just piled on top of him. By the time they'd arrested a 36-year-old man, five people, including two police officers, had been injured. Tragically, despite the work of paramedics, a 14-year-old boy lost his life. Our thoughts, of course, remain with the family and friends of the 14-year-old boy who very sadly died here this morning. We will be there to provide every possible support to them and ensure we get them the answers they need. The 36-year-old man arrested at the scene is currently in hospital, having suffered injuries when his van collided with a building. He has been arrested on suspicion of murder. At this time, given his injuries, we have been unable to interview him. We know there is speculation about his background, including police contact with him. And despite urgent and extensive checks today, we have found no trace of a prior incident involving him so far. What no doubt began as a chaotic and terrifying incident this morning has now turned into a murder investigation with the police setting up a huge cordon blocking off the roads. Forensics officers have been painstakingly gathering evidence while police try to speak to witnesses and piece together what happened. The King has sent his thoughts and prayers to the victims and the young boy's family while politicians shared their horror at the news. This attack is uh, devastating and uh, appalling. I'm, I'm sure I speak on behalf of the entire city when I say our thoughts and prayers are with uh, this young child, uh, this young child and his uh, family. Uh, what I do know is that the police and uh, emergency services uh, responded very quickly to the call out from members of the uh, public. Members of the public, not unreasonably, will be uh, quite scared in that uh, community in Hainault. I know very well it's a tight knit community. Additional uniformed officers will be present, not simply to reassure members of the public, but also in case members of the public have any intelligence and any information. I'd encourage members of the public in Redbridge to ring 101. If they have information, they can ring Crime Stoppers. And I appreciate how terrifying this was. They can also contact victim support who will provide assistance to those residents who will be traumatised, I'm sure, by what happened this morning. All day, the community has been gathering in a state of shock. Hainault has for the most part been a fairly peaceful and a quiet place and so um, today's tragic events come as a real, real shock to people. Um, they, real, they really do. And, um, and our hearts, the hearts of the whole community go out to the families of all of those who have been affected by today's events and especially, of course, to the family of the young lad who has died. It's... Um, it, it, it's something that, that most of us in the community can barely begin to understand, the, the, the horror and the sadness and the shock that, uh, that his family must be feeling today. The police have asked for patience as they gather evidence, but it will take a long time for local people to come to terms with the horror of what happened here today and with the loss of such a young life. Rachel Venables, Sky News.